Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams again and we're going to look at confidence intervals for the mean. We're going to run a one sample t-test and we're going to use Minitab to do it. Ten randomly selected people were asked how many pictures of quokas they had seen on Facebook in the last month. So it was reported that the mean number in our sample was 7.1 with a standard deviation of 0.78. Now remember this is the standard deviation is the standard deviation of this sample of 10 people. What we want to do is we want to find the 90% confidence interval of the true mean number of quokka pictures seen on Facebook. Because our sample size is only 10, we have to have an assumption of normal distribution so that we can apply the central limit theorem. Remember since the population standard deviation or sigma is unknown, we're going to substitute the sample standard deviation for it and we're going to use a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom when we construct this confidence interval. So let's go over and get Minitab to help us. So here we are in Minitab and we're going to come up to the stat menu come over to basic statistics and remember because I do not have the population standard deviation I only have the sample standard deviation I'm going to run a one sample t-test. So now that I have this I don't have raw data I have summarized data and the question told us that we had randomly selected 10 people and X bar or the sample mean was 7.1. We had a sample standard deviation of 0 0.78 and now I have to come to my options. So the confidence level that we had been asked about was 90 percent and remember when we're constructing a confidence interval we always want this alternative to be mean not equal to because that gives us both sides of the interval and I'm going to hit OK and now I'm going to hit OK again. So Minitab thought for a second based on a sample size of 10 with a mean of 7.1, sample standard deviation of 0.78, calculated our standard error of the mean, simply took that standard deviation divided by the square root of 10 and it gave us our 90 percent confidence interval for the population mean. So now when I come back um, and I looked at it at my curve, what I ended up with was a confidence interval between 6.648 pictures, 7.522 pictures. Remember this was simply my point estimate of X bar plus an error minus an error. And so now how do we interpret that? We are confident that 90% of the intervals constructed from our data will contain the true value of the population mean. Only 10% of the time will the true population mean be above or below this and this will happen 5% of the time it will be higher, 5% of the time it will be lower. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.